Hi everyone, welcome to Eckhart Yoga. My name is Esther. Today I'm going to take you through a short yoga sequence to open the hips, to work on your balance and to strengthen your legs. So we're going to come to Tadasana. Bring the big toes together, heels very slightly apart. And bring strength into the legs. So you're engaging your upper thigh muscles. Take your lower belly muscles in, tailbone down. Soften your ribs. Shoulders up and back and down, lengthening through the head. Bring the palms together in front of the heart. Center yourself. Inhale. Exhale, releasing your hands. Inhale, arms out. And up. Press into your feet. Look up. Exhale. Come down. Knees can be bent. Placing the hands on the floor. Inhale. Reach your heart forward. Exhale. Step your left leg back. Feet hip width apart and drop your back knee. Place both hands on the inside of your right foot. Turn your right toes out a little, knee out a little and come down. Either you can stay on the arms here, high on the hands, or you can bend or even come down on the forearms. And just allow the hip to open. Breathe. So your right knee and toes are pointing in the same direction. So if the knee falls out, the toes move out. If this is quite comfortable, you can even lift the back knee. Don't completely drop in the groin. So keep the groins moving into the body slightly. Breathe. On the next in-breath, come back. Bring your foot straight forward again, knee in line. And then from here, you're going to come to a standing position, bringing your left knee up into your chest. So we're balancing as well. Take your left ankle over the right, left knee pointing out. Place your hands in your, on your hips. Inhale, bring the shoulders back. Exhale, bend into your right knee. So this is a hip opener and a balancing pose. Inhale, lift your right arm up. Exhale, bring the arms down and behind you. Ground through your right foot. Inhale, lift. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands in front of the heart and come to a standing position. Feet back together, preparing for the other side. Inhale here. Releasing the hands and up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Step right back now and drop the back knee. Bring your hands on the inside of your left foot. And if your knee falls out, your toes move out. Come down here, either staying up on your arms like that or coming on to the forearms. Take a few breaths. In the groins, move in. If this feels good, lift your back knee. Stay with the breath. On the next in-breath, come back on your hands. Turn your foot straight forward again. And prepare to come to a standing position, lifting your knee up into your chest. Good. And then bring your right knee and cross it over the left. Your right ankle and cross it over the left knee, hands in your side. Inhale. Exhale, sink into the knee. Take your hips back. Good. Inhale, lift your arms up next to your ears. Exhale, bring the hands and the arms behind you. Inhale, lift. Exhale, arms behind you. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands in front of your heart and come to standing in mountain pose. Inhale here. Exhale, releasing the arms down. Okay, so... There was your short sequence to practice, your yoga sequence to practice the hip opener, a balanced pose, and a little flow. You'll strengthen your legs as well, so it has a lot in it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Namaste. Mm -hmm.